in the woods Morning guys, I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. I appreciate you joining me today for another video. What we're going to talk about today real quick, we're on our At the Water's Edge series. We're going to talk a little bit about fishing. We're going to talk a lot about fishing over the next several days. So I'm introducing some of the equipment that we're going to use ahead of time. And one of the things that I want to show you is a couple different ways that you can carry fishing equipment with you in a small package. And that's important in doing what we do, especially if we're out backpacking or we're on a wilderness scout or trek and we want to do some fishing while we're out there. We know there's going to be water available for us to fish in. We want to carry things with us that we are that will allow us to fish, but we don't want to take up a lot of room carrying big rods and reels and tackle boxes and things like that. So I'm going to show you first today a couple different rod options that you can carry with you that don't take up a lot of room in your pack and don't weigh a lot that will afford you ease of fishing on just about any water hole. And then we'll talk about later making fish traps, catching live bait, different types of bait, different types of lures, and all of those things as we fish. But today, all I wanted to cover with you guys was a couple different fishing systems that we're going to be using during these videos. Stay with me, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I've got several different types of fishing systems laying on this blanket, and they go from very, very cheap to semi-cheap to pretty expensive. And you can get anything in that range. I recommend that you buy the best quality fishing rod you can afford to buy, if you can, unless it's just a disposable thing, and we'll talk about that pretty quick. Like, um, the first thing I wanted to show you was the pocket fishing kit. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with this. this is one of my all-time backpack favorites. I've got a Skeletool by Leatherman attached to the lanyard, so that I have a pair of pliers and a knife with me all the time when I'm fishing. I can shove this whole thing in a cargo pocket and a skull can for some bait and I'm good to go. Dig up some worms, grubs, what have you, grasshopper, and I can fish. I've showed this guy to you guys many, many times. Inside, there's a couple bobbers. There's a bag of fishing accoutrements in there, from bobbers to hooks to swivels, things like that. There's also a couple of jigs in there that can be used that look like minnows. With this, you can also retrieve this very good with small rooster tails, eighth ounce rooster tails, things like that. I like to use them with this system as well. I've caught a lot, a lot of fish on this. It very, very cheap and easy to make. This fishing system probably costs less than $10 to make. Um, you can buy them on our website if you can't find it or you don't feel like making it yourself, but it's really easy. We'll be using that a lot to fish with over the next week or two. The next thing is just a Black Widow cane pole, and this is a 13-foot expandable cane pole in a carbon fiber outer that the thing's made out of. It's got the same length of line on it as the pole, a hook and a couple sinkers. This is, you know, you can use this thing for a hiking staff if you need to while you're walking through the woods. It is a little bit long, but it's very versatile as far as how you can fish with it, and they're really, really good for pan fishing. So if you like to fish like that, this is a very good option for you. This pole costs like $8.96 at Walmart, so it's pretty much what I would consider a throwaway. If I break it or something happens to it, it's not breaking my heart because it didn't break the bank. Now, more into traditional type fishing. And George Washington Sears Nesmick was a really big fisherman. He loved to fish. He carried a couple rods with him all the time when his tramping expeditions in the Adirondacks, things like that. This is a very good system, in my opinion, if you like to fly fish. Again, we're not trying to break the bank with this. This is an Eagle Claw Trailmaster fly rod that comes in a case. It is five pieces, six pieces. It makes a seven-foot fly rod. I have... Just a cheap Eagle Claw fishing reel, fly fishing reel in here as well that goes with it. I'm sorry, it's a scientific angler. It's even cheaper than Eagle Claw probably, but it works just fine. And then I have a flambeau box here that has my flies in it. It carries a whole lot of flies in a very small package, so it's really good for that. As far as packability goes and a lot of variation of what you can fish for and, and the different baits and things like that, I'd say... Fly fishing is a really good option because you can really get this stuff down small. You can see that this thing's probably only 15 or 16 inches long at the most. And you can put all of that in your backpack, be ready to rock and roll very, very easily. That system would probably run you for the rod and the reel less than $50 or right at $50, $60 maybe. And then the lures would be on top of that, obviously. Now this is just an Eagle Claw spinning rod. It does have a pretty good Shimano reel on it. 
but it's just an eagle cloth uh, light spinning rod. I like spinning rods really well. You can get cases like this or like this hard case here that will fit this rod. And then you can put the reel into a bag or pouch like this. And again, get yourself some kind of a small tackle box to put, you know, a few rooster tails and jigs and things like that in. Maybe some stuff for pan fishing and you'd be all set. This is a really good option in my opinion. Spinning rods catch a lot of fish. They're really, really versatile as far as the baits that you can use with them, the ways you can fish with them, the areas that you can get into with them. So I really like spinning rods. This is one of them actually one of my favorite rods um, I fish with this one all the time now this is a little bit more expensive rod this one kind of goes up to trying to break the bank this is a st. Croix rod and it is a four-piece spinning rod that comes in a hard case but again you know it's all black carbon fiber but again it's size you know it goes down pretty far it's quite a bit smaller than this Eagle Claw is as far as packability goes you can stand this up in the top of your backpack or strap it to the side of your backpack and you'd be pretty good Again, this is a light spinning rod, but because it's made by St. Croix, it's a pretty expensive rod. You could put a decent Shimano reel or something like that on there, and I use this reel on this rod once in a while too. You know, bag it up, get yourself a small tackle box, and you're ready to roll. So these are pretty good packable options. Now, when you talk about catching bigger fish, you're going to need bigger tackle. So the good thing about survivability is that if you're looking to catch bigger fish like catfish and things like that then you can catch those with bank line sets trot line sets and things like that and we'll talk about that as we go too and we may do a little bit of catfish from the bank with rod and reel but for now i wanted to talk about packable type fishing equipment that you can take with you and put in your backpack and i wanted to introduce you to all of these different ones because i'll be using these over the next several weeks and people will be saying you know what is that what is that and we can just refer back to this video where i talked about what each and every one was and we can avoid those questions so i really appreciate everything that you guys do for me i appreciate you watching my videos i appreciate the support that you give me i know that there's a lot of people looking forward to this fishing series as am i fishing starting to heat up real good in ohio right now and i love to fish I know I haven't made a lot of fishing videos, but it's not because I don't like to fish. It's just because I really haven't had the ability to make the videos. But I recently went out and got another canoe that's made out of aluminum that you guys will see shortly. And we're going to make some fishing videos. We're going to continue that on in the winter with trapping videos from a canoe as well. So stay with me. we got good things to come. Okay, guys. Well, one more time, I just want to let you know how much I appreciate your views, how much I appreciate your comments and you watching my videos. We're going to get on this fishing series as soon as we can. I just wanted to go over some of the tackle first. But I'm ready to hit the water, so stay with me.